consumers have stopped stockpiling plant-based burgers and sausages as they return to going out to eat, and that is taking a bite out of Beyond Meat's sales. The faux meat company cut third quarter sales forecasts on Friday due to a drop in demand at grocery stores as well as a labor shortage that's leading to delivery delays. It also had a problem with inventory damage during severe weather and a new order from a large customer that fell through. Those are not Beyond Meat's only problems. Restaurants have lowered orders due to uncertainty caused by the health crisis, raw material prices have surged, and it is facing growing competition from rival Impossible Foods. The sales warning prompted investors to take a knife to the stock, which tumbled to a one-year low in midday Friday trading. The stock has lost roughly one quarter of its value so far this year. Renault is taking a far harder hit from the global chip crunch than it expected. On Friday, the French firm said production would be down almost half a million cars this year as a result. That is more than double the cut it forecast back in September. Renault says the shortage should ease a little by the end of the year, but it says supplies will remain tight through much of 2022. Shares in the firm skidded following the news dropping 1.7% in the first moments of trade. In the third quarter, Renault saw sales fall just over 13% to $10.4 billion. The drop in sales was partially offset by higher prices. And Renault says there is no lack of demand, with its order book at a 15-year high. That leaves customers facing months-long waits for some popular models. The firm plans to complete a $2.3 billion cost-cutting plan in the coming weeks, more than a year ahead of schedule. Lyft revealed that it has received more than 4,000 reports of sexual assault on its ride-hailing platform between 2017 and 2019. The much-delayed company report released late Thursday as a follow-up to a promise made in 2019 showed sexual assaults rose during the period, but actually dropped as a percentage of overall rides given the increase in ridership. While the company said 99% of its trips are completed without any safety incident, a company executive in a blog post said that even one incident is too many because, quote, behind every report is a real person and real experience. Lyft says it has invested in safety features, consulted sexual assault experts, and used extensive background checks for drivers. Uber released sexual assault figures for 2017 and 2018 in the first ever industry report back in 2019. When compared, the two ride-hailing apps have the same statistically rare incident rate. Apple's privacy updates are biting into Snap. The Snapchat owner's shares plunged by more than a fifth in early trading Friday. That cast a shadow over other ad-dependent social media firms that will report earnings results next week, dragging down shares of Facebook, Twitter, and Google's parent, Alphabet. What upset investors was a photo messaging app owner's warning Thursday that the impact of Apple's privacy changes and global supply chain disruptions will linger through the fourth quarter. That's typically the highest earning period for social media companies as brands ramp up marketing for the holiday season. Apple's privacy updates, rolled out over the summer, prevent advertisers from tracking iPhone users without their consent. The tweaks made it hard to measure and manage ad campaigns. As a result, advertisers spent much less than expected. Analysts say Snap will be more impacted by Apple's changes than other social media giants. The money-losing company earns the vast majority of its revenue from ads on its app. SoftBank is in talks to sell the Paris-based robotics business behind its Pepper Android to Germany's United Robotics Group. That's according to sources. The sale would be a scaling back of the business it once touted as a major growth driver. Two anonymous sources said the talks are ongoing and plans could change. It is not clear whether SoftBank will retain a stake in the business, nor how much the deal would be worth. United Robotics Group, which is backed by German industrial robot maker Hahn, became the European master distributor for SoftBank's struggling Pepper and Now Robots in October. 
United Robotics declined to comment. SoftBank has said it remains committed to the pepper business. But Reuters reported in June that it had stopped production and cut staff in France. Sources say the unit has been plagued by tensions between European staff and Japanese managers. SoftBank is now focusing on selling hardware produced by other firms.